Hello, fellow puckheads. As promised, this is my preview for the Western Conference half of this modified Stanley Cup playoffs. And um, as I said before, top 12 teams in its conference, each conference, uh, by order of point percentage, uh, the top four of those top 12 play in the round robin. One game against each of the other three teams. The other eight play in best of five uh, qualifying round series. The winners advance to the actual Stanley Cup playoffs. But those Rob Robin teams get boxed straight to the playoffs. But they're playing for, those teams are playing for seeding. And um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Um, as I said before in my Eastern Conference video, um, the draft lottery, the number one pick goes to an eliminated uh, round robin team. I mean, not round robin, um, qualifying round team. I'm so excited. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so without, without further ado, <clears throat> it's, um, let's get to round robin. The, f the top four teams in the West. Entering, as, as of entering the pause, are as, were as follows. The St. Louis Blues, the defending champions. The Colorado Avalanche, have the best season in years. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Dallas Stars. Yes, Dallas kind of did what Philadelphia did. They kind of went on a bit of a winning tear, and they made it up to the top four. Now, um... One of the things that one of the things that kind of upset me about this pandemic was I was really looking forward to the final head-to-head -head regular season confrontation between the, the Blues and the Avalanche because those were the top two teams of the conference and two of the top teams of the league. And I felt that game like two years ago, these two years ago, these two teams were playing each other for a playoff spot. I think those two would have been playing each other for a division title. That's how I think it was going to go down to. But the pandemic happened and things kind of hit a pause, so there's no, the, the, the debate's still out there, who would have really been the best in the Central, but um, this is not about division, this, this is not about division, it's 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 solely conference spaces, regardless of division, and um, there's still a chance for us to be number one, now it's, Saint, it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a hell of a group to deal with. Some would say this could be a group of death situation. You, see, you hear this in soccer. Because uh, look, look what I said. St. Louis, Colorado, Vegas, Dallas. All four of these teams are, are lethal. All of them are. I mean, they all have their downs, too. Like, I've heard the Blues penalty kill is kind of iffy. So is ours, to be honest. Um, but in Vegas, it had a few problems before getting it together once the New Year hit. Dallas, um, Dallas had some disciplinary problems, but they've won some games late. So yeah, these are four dangerous teams. These are these are four dangerous teams here. But um, but who? Knows? But it's it's going to be a very interesting round robin in the West side, especially since the Avalanche's first game in this round robin is against the defending Stanley Cup champions. The St. Louis Blues. Ugh. My goodness. It's going to be a crazy few days. And that's not all. Because we also have the qualifying round series. And guess who's in the playoffs because of this format? The Chicago Blackhawks. That's right. The Blackhawks brief little drought is over. Because we all remember the Blackhawks dominated the 2010s, didn't they? They did. Three Stanley Cup championships. We all saw it. They won the Cup in 2010, in the shortened 2013 season, caused by a lockout, and then 2015. But then right after that, that's when the lull started. Because uh, in 16, they were beaten in seven in the first round by St. Louis. 17, they had 17. They were the best in the West, but they got destroyed by an upstart Nashville Predators team that ended up going to the Stanley Cup Final. And 18 and 19, they missed the playoffs altogether. And this is pretty much with the same core. Nothing really changed. 
Nothing really changed with Blackhawks. They pretty much kept that team together, but they started fizzling out. And they definitely would have been dead had a full season uh, played. But because of because of the pandemic and because of the uh, modified structure for this year, the Blackhawks are in. They're at the number 12 seed, but who's to say they won't upset the Oilers? And the Oilers, <laughs> this is their second postseason in, I think it's four year, four seasons. Because they made it in 17. And that was Connor McDavid's first taste of playoffs. And Connor kind of entered this season with a chip on his shoulder. A player that good and that talented wants more uh, postseason hockey. Any of them. Good, good Nathan McKinnon. He got his first taste as a rookie. And he wanted more. And he didn't get more until four years later. But he's getting it consistently now. And that needs to happen with Connor McDavid. Or else he's going to get out of there. But the Oilers had a pretty impressive season. Uh, they finished fifth overall in the Western Conference, and they finished and they were second in the Pacific, right behind Vegas. As I said the pandemic kind of robbed us of a couple of things. Number one, what could have been a good divisional chase between Vegas and the Oilers, and number two, and more importantly, an opening round series between the Oilers and Flames, the Battle of Alberta in the postseason for the first time in thirty years. That could have been that, that could have been something. But Edmonton and Chicago should be delicious. The 6 11 series is Nashville and Arizona, and there were a lot of questions surrounding Nashville because Nashville started to hit a lull now. The window seems to be closing because um, Nashville started making these playoff appearances around, what, 16? They beat out the Ducks and came this close to the conference final, but then 17 was their magical run to the, to the cup final, but then 18, that's when they started sputtering. Um, cause they had a hard time with the little old avalanche and then the Jets destroyed Rene. And then, uh, last year Dallas beat them out. So the window could be closing. Now, Arizona, and I had Arizona go to the playoffs this year. So this kind of isn't a shot, but I, th I thought they would be a little bit better than they were this season, but they're in. So could Arizona be that shocker? Who knows? Uh, the seven ten series is Vancouver, Minnesota, and I'm kind of loving this because it it, it 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 brings back memories of the old Northwest Division. And as an Avalanche fan, I really do treasure the old Northwest Division because the old Northwest Division was the Avalanche, the Flames, the Oilers, the Canucks, and the Wild. And those two teams were, were rivals in that old Northwest Division that lasted until the, the divisions were realigned in 2013. Um. I'm I'm a bit happy for the Canucks. They actually made the playoffs. They look good this season. They really did look good. Uh, the Wild, the Wild sputtered. They sputtered this season. Um, they had a playoff streak that ended last year. They made it. They had six straight postseasons, but that came to an end last year when they actually ended up finishing in the bottom of the Central Division. They had a lot of problems, but. And, and this is another thing, well, they finished 10th, but they were like this close. So who's to say in a full season they would have been out? They probably would have stuck in. But um, we'll see what the Wild are made of. We'll definitely see what the Canucks are made of. That's going to be a very interesting series. And then the 8-9 series is the, all, is the only all-Canadian series of this modified tournament. Uh, the Jets and the Flames. The Flames are 8, the Jets are 9. That's right. Every Canadian team is participating in this modified postseason except for Ottawa. They were in the lottery, but they had two picks in the lottery. Uh, uh, Calgary and Winnipeg. This is the first time This is the first time we've seen an all-Canadian playoff series since 2015, which also involved Calgary. It was Calgary versus Vancouver that year in the opening round. Uh, Winnipeg is two years removed. From advancing in the playoffs for the first time in their franchise history. Remember, they used to be the Thrashers, and before two years ago, they didn't have, they didn't even win a playoff game. Two years ago, they had that great run. They beat down Minnesota. They beat uh, Nashville, including crushing Wiene on the road in Game Seven. They made it all the way to the conference final, where they were defeated by the expansion uh, Golden Knights. They're two years removed from that. Last year, they went backwards when they lost to the eventual champions, the St. Louis Blues, in round one. So this, so 
the Jets are kind of looking to rebound. And but so are the Flames. I mean, the Flames embarrassed themselves last year. They had the they were the number one team in the Western Conference, and yet the Avalanche destroyed them. They had that one. They won one game. They had the one game where they shut us out. But after that, nothing. Johnny Gaudreau, one of, the, one of their Howell players, one point in five games. Could even make a penalty shot in game five. So Gaudreau should be pissed, and he should not take that anger out on referees like he did last season. He needs to take it out on the ice and put some pucks in the net. Just wake up. It can't be just. It can't be Kachuk by himself. Or else they're going to be going home again early. So, uh, predictions, predictions. First, I have to start with the round robin. It's a group of death thing. It's a group of death situation here. I mean, all four teams are lethal. But I think, I honestly think, that when the round robin ends, it should finish like this. Dallas, Vegas, St. Louis, number one. We are good enough to be a number one seed in the in the East in the Western Conference. We definitely are, because we can go toe to toe with any of them. I think I honestly think, I honestly think, and I may and it may sound slanted, but I honestly think we're the only team in the West that can really go toe to toe with St. Louis. We are. So that's my prediction. We are going to win this round, Robin, and finish number one. That's my order. Colorado, St. Louis, Vegas, Dallas, in that order. As for the qualifying round series, uh, <laughs> these are hard. I really, I kind of want Chicago to advance, but that means Edmonton won't. And I kind of want McDavid to kind of have a good run, depending on who, depending on who they end up playing. So with that, <laughs> with that, I'm gonna say Oilers in five. Oilers in five. Uh, uh, Nashville, Arizona, Nashville in four. I would say sweep, but I think Arizona's actually gonna win one. They should, but I think it's gonna be Nashville in four. Um, Vancouver, Minnesota. Uh, Vancouver in I'm gonna say five. I wanted to say four, but I think it'll be a little bit longer. I don't think Minnesota's quite ready yet, and Vancouver seems to be a bit a bit a bit hungrier than Minnesota, especially with all those players they got. They got that upstart rookie uh, Quinn Hughes and Brock Besser and all of them. Elias Pettersson. That's a loaded team. <laughs> that is, and the All Canadian Series. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know what I want here. Uh, I kind of want. I kind of want Calgary, but I think they're still sputtering a bit. Jets. I'm going to say Jets. Jets in four. I wanted to say five so badly, but I don't trust Calgary. Calgary cannot be trusted in playoff situations. So, yeah. So, yeah. Those are my predictions. Uh, Oilers, Oilers in five. Preds in four. Uh, Canucks in five. Jets in four. Avs win the round robin. That's that. So that's my preview of the Western Conference half of this thing. We're just over 24 hours away. At noon Eastern, it will start Saturday. Now, normally, I would do I would recap the whole round as a whole. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a day-by-day -day recap. So I'll be back on YouTube after Saturday's action ends. So I'll say... Good night, good night, and enjoy this insane, very insane, modified playoffs.